A yardang is a streamlined protuberance carved from bedrock or any consolidated or semi-consolidated material by the dual action of wind abrasion by dust and sand, and deflation which is the removal of loose material by wind turbulence. Yardangs become elongated features typically three or more times longer than wide, and when viewed from above, resemble the hull of a boat. Facing the wind is a steep, blunt face that gradually gets slower and narrower toward the lee end. Yardangs are formed by wind erosion, typically of an originally flat surface formed from areas of harder and softer material. The soft material is eroded and removed by the wind, and the harder material remains. The resulting pattern of yardangs is therefore a combination of the original rock distribution, and the fluid mechanics of the airflow and resulting pattern of erosion. Etymology The word itself is of Turkic origin meaning steep bank, and was first introduced to the English speaking world by the Swedish explorer Sven Anders Hedden in 1903. Description A yardang is formed in cohesive material. Hedden first found the wind sculptured clay terraces or yardangs in the dried up riverbed of the Kuryuk Daria in Central Asia. However, yardangs can be found in most deserts across the globe. Depending upon the winds and the composition of the weakly indurated deposits of silt and sand from which they are carved, yardangs may form very unusual shapes, some resemble various objects or even people. Yardangs come in a large range of sizes, and are divided into three different categories, Mega Yardangs, Meso Yardangs, and Micro Yardangs. Mega Yardangs can be several kilometers long and hundreds of meters high and are found in arid regions with strong winds. Meso Yardangs are generally a few meters high and 10 to 15 meters long and are commonly found carved in semi-consolidated playa sediments and other soft granular materials, and Micro Yardangs are only a few centimeters high. A large concentration of Mega Yardangs are found near the Tibesti Mountains in the Central Sahara. There is a famous Yardang at Hole in the Rock in Papago Park in Phoenix, Arizona, a rock formation with a roughly circular hole in it. Another yardang in Arizona is Window Rock, near the town of Window Rock. It is a 60-meter sandstone hill with a very large circular hole in the middle of it. Some geologists have suggested that the Great Sphinx of Egypt is an augmented yardang. Pictures from Mars show that the yardang ridges occur on a massive scale there. Some individual ridges are tens of kilometers long with intervening valleys nearly one kilometer wide. Yardangs on Mars are typically found in the Amazonas region but the best ones are found in the equatorial region. Yardangs on Mars demonstrate that much of the alien erosion is recent since they are sculpted in young geologic units. Formation Yardangs form in environments where water is scarce and the prevailing winds are strong, unidirectional, and carry an abrasive sediment load. The wind cuts down low-lying areas into parallel ridges which gradually erode into separate hills that take on the unique shape of a yardang. This process yields a field of yardangs of roughly the same size commonly referred to as a fleet due to their resemblance to the bottoms of ships. Alternatively, one can be formed by the migration of a dune that leaves behind a cemented core. As the process of formation continues, typically a trough will form around the base of the yardang. Most yardang fields are in sand poor areas, but the associated troughs, especially in groove terrain, may be invaded by sand. Sometimes the sand will accumulate to build shallow moats around the bottom. They are more commonly created from softer rock types like siltstone, sandstone, shale and limestone, but have also been observed in crystalline rocks such as schist and gneiss. 
Other common names for them include mud lions, sphinx like hills, mushroom rocks, insalbergs, kikar, common Indonesia, kalat, Iran, and Kretsa coyers, Chad. Mm-hmm.